In today's video, we are going to make a simple PID control system with an Arduino and a photocell. And when we run it, it's going to look like this. And we're going to show how to graph the response on the right, and there's our system on the left. Let's get into it. So the way a PID system works is you have a set point or a desired response that you're trying to get. We're going to send that to our controller, which is the Arduino. And from there, the Arduino is going to provide power to an LED. But we don't know how much power we need to provide to obtain the value of brightness that we are desiring out of our system. So what we need is a sensor, i.e. the photocell, and it's going to feed back the current amount of brightness. And that's going to be subtracted from our set point producing an error which feeds back into the microcontroller to update the power that is sent to the LED. For this project you're going to need an Arduino, one LED, one photoresistor, a breadboard, and a 220 ohm resistor and a 1 kilo ohm resistor. So here's how it's all wired up. We've got the Arduino and it sends a PWM signal from pin 5 through our 220 ohm resistor through the red LED and then it grounds. Our analog pin A0 goes up here to the photocell and it's on the opposite pin from where we're sending our 5 volt power. So 5 volt power goes in, we're reading a response and it's also going through this one kilo ohm resistor to a ground bus here, feeds all the way back to ground on the Arduino. From here, I think we'll jump into the code and then we'll look at uh, how the system runs. Here's our code in the Arduino IDE. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is include this photocell library, or the PID library, I mean. It is in sketch, include manage libraries, PID and this is the one right here. Once you've installed it, you'll be able to add it from right there. Just like that. So once you've done that, there's three requirements to start out with for the PID library. You have to declare a set point, so your desired level of brightness and then your photocell readings, your input, and your LED brightness is your output. Next, all PID systems require a proportional gain, an integral gain, and a derivative, derivative gain. You can uh, set those to zero, but these are the values I've found after tuning them. Next, we'll define the photocell pin and the LED pin. The photocell is on analog A0, and the LED pin is on PWM5 and then you set up your PID. So the way the PID works is it goes and sign input, and sign output, and sign set point, your gain values, and then the direction. So this is forward. That does it for the initial part of our code. Let's go into the setup. We're gonna begin our serial at a baud rate of 9600. That should be enough for the data we need. And then we're going to set up our PID values. So our set point that we're looking for is 600. So an analog read will be between 0 and 1023. And 600 kind of falls nicely in there. My photo cell reads 300 just in normal room light. So anything below that's not going to work for us. Make sure to double check that in your project. So we'll go set mode, automatic, and set tunings. This basically turns on the PID. And then I want a delay of a second so that when I fire this up, I have time to open the serial plotter and show you guys what it looks like. So we've got our photo cell reading is gonna be the analog read. And then after that, all we have to do is compute it. Take the input and compute it through here to give us an output. And then we're just going to write that output to our LED pin. And that's it. The main work in this is tuning your PID. And I've, I just Googled how to tune a PID and I came up to this page here. 
and followed this exactly. So set all gains to zero, increase your proportional gain until you get a steady response to a disturbance. So if I slide my credit card in front of the LED, I wanna see a steady oscillation. And when I let go, I wanna see it steady as well. Then you increase your derivative gain until the oscillations go away. Do that until you think you've reached your optimal point. And then increase I until you get to your set point. So when you've tuned your P and D, you're gonna be way below your set point. But then when you tune your I, it's gonna jump up. So I'll show you guys quickly what this looks like just through here. So if I open a serial plotter, um, let's exit out of that for a second. If I go upload, and then I go serial plotter, that's blank, perfect. So boom, there's my photo cell reading, kind of balanced around 600. And now I'm gonna slide my credit card in there and it drops and then I move the card out of the way and back to 600. So that's pretty cool. And that can be used for um, like setting the speed of a motor maybe with an encoder or there's a ton of ways that this PID control system is used. And um, I'm just gonna show you what the system looks like in reality with that graph running and then we'll wrap this up. So here's our system running. You can see our photo cell reading kind of bouncing around 600. And um, if I jump in there with a card, then I can block it off and the LED can't make the photo cell read 600. It can't get bright enough. But when I move the card out of the way, it jumps back and works again. So I hope you guys were able to follow along with this and get your own PID projects working and that it was helpful to you in some way. If you enjoyed the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Happy designing.